All right, so it's day four and the machine is here. Um, I basically just came back inside from setting it up or getting it out of the box and, and getting it set inside the garage to check everything and to figure out how I'm going to move forward. And as far as I can tell, everything is there. Everything promised is there. It does have the Ruido controller. Uh, it has a, um, a tube that is rated for 80 watts with 85 or 86 watts maximum. Everything is there. Um, all the parts that were supposed to come with the machine, they're also there. There's kind of a... Um, it's, it's a bit of a hodgepodge um, regarding the power connectors, but um, I guess that's okay. Um, I can handle that. And I think I'm going to go out anyway and buy a water chiller with a with a pump that is already part of it. And once I have that, should be okay. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't all that hard. It was packaged really well and uh, the box was not uh, damaged in any way when it got here. And everything went really smooth. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, the machine does have two dents. I'm not sure that they got at the machine uh, while it was shipped. I think they were just part of it when they put it in the box. Uh, one has to do with the way that they put the air tube inside the machine. I think it just... the air tube wasn't all the way in the machine and they just forcefully closed the door. Uh, the second thing is a slight misalignment of the of the hinge uh, for the operating chamber chamber but apart from that I'm, I'm happy with it um, I have the manual so it actually comes with uh, with an English manual for the machine it comes with an English manual for the software that's part of it uh, which is RDWorks 8.0 and it actually comes with a German uh, installation handbook. Um, I just perused through that a little bit. It's bad, but it's but it's there. Um, it, it's better than nothing, I suppose. And yeah, so I'm going to uh, show you the footage that I made while getting it unpacked after it was delivered. I um, haven't seen that footage yet. I think the camera was acting up while I was doing that, but uh, um, there will be a short walk around of the machine and yeah, just you can just see it. Um, when I'm done with all of that, I'm, we're, we're going to uh, try to take the wheels off and uh, the whole the whole table part of it so uh, so we can carry it inside the house um, it's not as heavy as you might think I would say it's not 100 kilograms it's slightly less than that uh, and once we have it in here I'm going to reattach the wheels and the carriage and um, then we can really start looking into it it looks nice. Uh, it did come with a lot of uh, metal shavings inside that now with with all with all the the travels that it's been through they just crept out of every hole that they were in. I'm gonna have to really clean it up inside and I'm gonna have to figure out how to get those wheels off. Uh, but apart from that it's day four. I have a laser and it is looking at the box it's what they promised so the cheapest 80 watt engraver on eBay apparently was a good deal I'm really happy for that so have fun watching um, the unpacking footage and um, I will come back when I have more to show
Thanks for watching. So, <laughs> the, big, the big box just arrived. Um, yeah, man, it's big. It is huge. But it's all there. Nothing missing. It's not damaged. It looks really fine. And, um, yeah, I'm going to start opening it and see what's inside. So, <laughs> here it is. It's all unpacked. Um, it was packed really well. Um, the box was uh, not bent or, or dinged or anything and it looks really nice. Quite happy. Uh, I can see no visible damage right now. Um, the only thing that I do see is uh, that the small lock that's supposed to be in here is missing. Everything else is here. Um, it does have the Ruida controller, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Ruido controller is one of the supported ones for Lightburn, which is probably the best software. Um, it did come with uh, a lot of accessories. Here's the air pump, which does, did not come with a um, German plug. Uh, the water pump, which does have a German water pump, uh, German plug. Uh, some accessories, um, cables, uh, the tubing for the water, some sealant, the instructions, um, which are also in German, which is pretty unusual, um, and the big centrifugal um, air pump. I'm not sure that I will be using that. And of course the <laughs> gigantic uh, air tube, which I may also not be using because I have a smaller one, but that has a really high power uh, air pump behind it. So let's see how all that works out. Um, yeah, so the only thing that I noticed was that there appears to be a noticeable dent in here and um, the front here does not open all the way and you can see that it's it's taken slight beating um, I think that happened when they put the air hose in and there was just too much pressure behind there um, the other noticeable thing is that there appears to be a slight crease here and the top door um, does not want to open and it doesn't want to really close because it, it rubs on uh, this edge really badly. Well, I suppose that can be fixed. Um, all the rest of the pieces are pretty well in place everything is um, locked down so it can't move I'm quite confident um, that the alignment will still be sort of okay but I'm going to check it anyway I didn't notice that um, the mesh down here is in a um, aluminium frame and this appears to be Aluminium or very thin steel, uh, whatever it is, it is uh, silver reflective, so I'm probably going to have to get that painted or painted myself um, because right now it reflects the lasers and um, that is pretty dangerous because uh, there is a, a UV sheet um, on the top but there is no UV sheet behind here so um, laser radiation can escape the 
the uh, lasing cavity and uh, we're going to have to make sure that that doesn't happen. We'll figure something out. Um, stepper motors are all up to par. Very nice. Um, the whole installation is um, pretty cool. Um, it does come with all these stickers telling you what every switch is and if we have a look inside the machine room um, you can actually see that they made quite an effort to um, give a good impression so um, everything is fixed down with hot glue so it doesn't vibrate out um, they made a well good attempt good attempt at um, cable management it looks really nice uh, but what you can see down here in the edge is there is quite a lot of metal shavings all through the machine I'm gonna really have to clean this out so just to make sure that nothing bad happens um, second note it did come with the network interface already attached and uh, the switch panel down here I think that's pretty standard uh, but it's fully configured and down here you can see the the controller is an RDC 6442SB which kind of proves that this is a Ruida in there really happy with that also um, this machine appears to be um, prepared for a z-axis uh, that would be cool if you could just add a z-axis stepper and then add a, a uh, focus switch that would be really really cool um, and going to the back we have the um, big old laser tube and uh, this appears to be pretty good quality um, it is rated at a peak power of 85 watts and the agreement power is 80 watts which I think is a little bit high um, I would say you should go 10 to 20 percent below that but even that would be good and uh, it is huge it is an absolutely huge laser tube um, it does not come with an amp meter but I'm probably just going to add one myself so uh, yeah that's that's the machine from the back this here is the motor that usually has the stepper for the z-axis but this is just an, an ordinary um, ordinary DC motor I believe uh, we do have the power distribution in the back not sure if I'm going to use that why is this not focusing focus and um, over on the other side we have air inlet and water in and out um, a fair amount of water that had been in there escaped <laughs> during during transport um, I gotta figure out what what they put in there for uh, if they have some sort of antifreeze in there or if it's just distilled water yeah so right now everything looks really good and another thing worthy of note is um, the cover open switch is actually present on this unit 
and if we look at the at the laser head we can see that it does have the small LED laser pointer for the focus point and it has uh, just a standard air assist nothing special here um, but also not the worst thing that you can get all of the linear rails are um, pretty standard uh, but it's nice to have them anyway so I'm quite happy with this uh, the only thing that I saw is that the at the top doesn't open up that far um, I would like it to open further than that don't know if we can fix that On one other thing that I'm seeing here is that this gap here right here going up there all the way over here is huge and you can really just look into the machine and it closes up when you get over here where it is actually pretty good uh, until it gets down here where it just rubs so I'm pretty sure that this can be adjusted to fit better but yeah it is just an absolutely huge machine and it's not as heavy as I thought so um, I was able to get it in here with the help of a friend and um, it was about, I don't know, maybe a hundred kilos or so. Now the challenge that I'm facing is, in order to get it into my work area, I'm going to have to attempt to remove the, um, the whole roller assembly on the bottom. And uh, I, have to, I have to find out how to do that because I'm not going to get it through any of the doors um, with, the, with the whole undercarriage attached yeah so this is it um, it arrived and it's all there as far as I can tell everything that the seller promised is part of the machine which actually makes it quite a good deal at yeah, 1600 euros. I'm, I'm really happy.